Hey, Andrew Portes here, just recording a quick video on how to share the Wi-Fi internet connection coming into your Mac out through an Ethernet cable which is connected to an Xbox 360 in order to access Xbox Live uh, while sharing your Mac's internet connection. This is actually a really easy process in Mac OS X Lion and for someone that hasn't done this before it's going to be really easy to set up. Um, but if you're someone like me that, that uh, upgraded from Snow Leopard and had this set up before, um, it's actually going to stop working the way you had it set up and therefore need to change it and follow these instructions. Uh, now, if you haven't upgraded to Lion yet and you want to do this, I will link off to a great uh, video that I found um, which explains exactly how. Uh, but if you're running Lion and you want to do this, uh, go to System Preferences. Um, and then you're going to go to network. Now my 360 is actually already connected to my Mac via the Ethernet cable but it is switched off so I'm going to switch it on and so it's powering up now and you'll see the red light on the Ethernet section here it's going to go green and then stay green but we're going to click on Ethernet right here yep there we go it's all green and the, what you need to do, uh, if you have done this before, you're going to actually see a configuration a bit similar to this. You know, this is how I had it going um, when I was uh, connecting to live uh, with my Mac running Snow Leopard. But if you're running Lion, you actually want to take this configure section at the top and you want to change it to using DHCP. And then you're going to click apply and all the numbers here are actually going to go away and that's fine uh, you'll see this uh, light go uh, sort of an orange amber as well but that's absolutely fine uh, and then we're going to go to show all and go to sharing in uh, system preferences now if you've already got internet sharing ticked as I have here uh, you won't be able to change any of these options if you need to so untick internet sharing and if you upgraded from Snow Leopard, this box up here will actually say Airport. And you need to click on it and change it to Wi-Fi as I have done. Uh, so you just click up there, go on Wi-Fi. And then on the box below here, you want to make sure that Ethernet is ticked right here. And uh, basically what this will do is it will take the internet connection coming into your Mac via Wi-Fi and send it out of the Ethernet port, uh, which is going to be where our Xbox is connected with an Ethernet cable, as I said. Uh, and then we just tick when it looks like that. Just turn on Internet sharing by ticking here. You click Start. And then we get a green light up here to say that it's on. And that is literally all the configuration that you have to do on the Mac now. Uh, before Lion, it was actually a very laborious process but like I said there's a brilliant video that, that helped me do it when I wanted, wanted to and I will link off to that. As for us though I will now switch over to the Xbox and show you what you need to put in there. Okay so here we are on the Xbox 360 dashboard and apologies in advance for any shaky camera work uh, I am recording this on my iPhone 4 uh, but anyway the Mac is on and it's connected to the Xbox with the Ethernet cable uh, as I said before and um, we now need to move over to system settings you go down to network settings uh, whenever the Mac is on you're gonna get a, a, a tick by wired network uh, that's just to say that yep it is connected by Ethernet and everything's okay there but that's what you need to go into wired network uh, configure network and again, if you were you, uh, doing this on um, a version of Mac OS X before Lion, you probably had to set it up like this. And like I say, I saw a great video that I'm going to link off to on how to set it up uh, on a Mac OS X, uh, you know, a version before Lion. Uh, but Lion actually will not work this way at all. You actually have to change everything from manual to automatic. So we're going to do that. 
and then uh, the Xbox and Lion uh, basically figure out everything else uh, for you. So it's really simple if you haven't done this before. Uh, so that's all done after setting everything to automatic. Uh, and then you just test the connection. Now you might get a warning that says there'll be limited connectivity. It may set your NAT type to moderate. But uh, I've found it works fine. You know, I haven't run into any problems. Obviously, if you've got a better broadband, it's probably going to work better for you. You know, uh, internet connection speeds will have a difference, as well as wireless signal strength. Uh, but I've found it works fine. Um, as you can see, the Xbox has internet access, and it's just uh, finishing testing live right now. Yeah, here's our warning to say that our NAT type is moderate. You can go more info, um, you know, to sort of read more information. But really, um, you know, like I say, it's fine like this. It will work. And just to show you, I will now sign in. Um, but generally, I think you're going to get that warning, you know, by doing a, your, a live connection in this way. Anyway, so again, it's it's not something I would worry about because, uh, like I said, it works fine. And here you go. We are signed in to Xbox Live. We can go on the marketplace and browse around of course so yeah here's all the newest arcade games and the like um, so yeah that's how to um, share your max Wi-Fi connection uh, in a wired capacity you know through Ethernet to an Xbox 360 and set it up uh, if you're running Mac OS X Lion. Um, thanks again, this has been Andrew Portes, and like I say, I will link off to the video that tells you how to do this on versions of OS X, you know, before Lion as well. Alright, cheers, and I hope this was useful to you.